Hello mga Matthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong mat body para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niyo sa mat. And for today sa video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay itong call pa rin sa System of Linear Inequalities in Two Variables which is week 2 ng inyong mga module. Pero ikagayad ko kayo kung paano niyo ba sasagutan yung learning task number 3 ninyo. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na like, na subscribe at na hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for your learning task number 3, you have to answer the following questions. Pero ibibigyan ko lang kayo ng idea kung paano nyo ba siya sasagutan. Pero kayo pa rin yung sasagot, ha? Okay, for number 1, in each graph, how do you identify the, the solution set of the systems of inequalities? Naalala ninyo, pag meron tayong graph, o oh, kunyari we have here, para mas maintindihan nyo, the x and y intercept, di ba? Kung meron tayong dalawang graph dyan, kunyari ito, tapos ito ay dotted line. Tapos dito yung shaded part ng isa, tapos yung shaded part ng isa ay dito, o paano nyo malalaman kung ano yung solution set? Siyempre, kung saan nag-meet yung dalawang shaded region. At kung titignan natin dito, ang shaded region niya ay ito. Oh, so, paano nyo isasagot yun? It is the region where the two regions overlap. That's how you identify the solution. Again, it is where the two regions, or it is the region, ito yung region where the two regions overlap. Yung dalawang region, dun sila nag-overlap or nag-intersect. Now, when is... The boundary of an inequality, a broken line or a solid line. Kailan siya broken line? Broken line siya if, oh, ano, di ba pag heartbroken, mag-isa lang. If greater than or less than lang yung ating symbol. Pag solid line, syempre solid sila, may ka-partner siya. If greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Oh, hindi pa ito yung sagot ha. Dapat sentence ang isagot ninyo. Binigyan ko lang, binibigyan ko lang kayo ng idea. And then, when does the system of inequalities have no solution? Kailan daw walang uh, solution yung inequalities? Letter B na pala ito. Kapag naalala ninyo yung ginawa natin dun sa last na video natin, kung mapapansin ninyo, paalala ko ha. O, oh, ayan, kunyari iyan. Tapos, you have this one and then you have this one. Tapos, yung shaded region ay nandito. Tapos, yung isa naman ay nandito. So, walang solution dito kasi walang common point. So, kailan siya? If the region of each inequality are parallel. Okay? Kasi hindi sila nagmi-meet. Kaya wala silang solution. Again, when does the system of inequalities have no solution? If the region of the inequality are parallel. Okay, now for letter B, write the system of inequalities whose shaded region is the solution set. Okay, same with dun sa ginawa natin sa pag-identify natin ng inequalities based on the graph. Ganon din yung gagawin natin dito ha. Ang mahirap lang dito ng onting-onti lang kasi dalawa yung hahanapan natin ng inequalities. Okay, so start muna tayo ha, one by one. Ito muna yung hanapan natin. Ito yung solid line ha, ito. So, ito muna yung hanapan natin ng inequality. So, kukuha tayo ng dalawang points na magre-represent ng line natin. So, ang kunin na lang natin yung x-intercept and yung y-intercept nila. So, we have this one. Anong point ito? Ito ay 0, 3. And then, the other one is 3, 0, 1. Naalala kung paano gagawin yung inequality natin. Dito muna tayo sa first line, di ba? You have to get yung m. And then yung B. And to find for M, you have the formula Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Okay, having that, we have 0, 3. And then 3, 0. And then ito si X sub 1, Y sub 1, X sub 2, Y sub 2. So, E... 
So, substitute na lang natin sila. So, m is equal to, we have 0 minus 3 over 3, x sub 2 minus x sub 1, 0. So, you will have here negative 3 over 3. Oh, what is negative 3 divided by 3? That is negative 1. So, your m is negative 1. Okay. Now, ano yung b natin? Yung y-intercept, siya yung value ng y when x is 0. So, asan siya? Ito yung x natin na, uh, ito yung coordinates natin na ang x niya ay 0. So, this one is our y-intercept. So, our b is 3. And then, uh, we can now write the inequality. So, y, hindi pa natin alam kung anong symbol yung ilalagay natin. But we know that the slope is negative 1. So, you will have there negative x. And then, our b is 3. So, plus 3. Now, anong gagamitin nating symbol? Since ang ating line ay solid line, may dalawa lang tayong pagpipila, pagpipilian dyan. It's either we use greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And then, magte-test point tayo. Pero dahil yung zero natin is not part of the shaded region, ang hinahanap nating resulta ay false pag nag-test point tayo. Okay? So, sige, mamili muna tayo. Try natin yung greater than or equal to. Kapag false ang sagot, eto na siya. Pero pag true, kukunin natin yung less than or equal to. Ha? Tandaan. Okay? Kasi, bakit false ang hinahanap natin? Kasi yung zero ay hindi part ng shaded region. Baka nagtataka kayo, ma'am, di ba dati dapat true? Dapat true? Kasi yung zero, zero doon, part ng shaded region. E dito, hindi. Kaya false ang hinahanap natin. So, at zero, zero, you will have zero is greater than or equal to negative yung x magiging 0 plus 3. So, 0 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 3. So, 0 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 3 is how many? 3. Is 0 greater than or equal to 3? No. So, false siya. Which is yung kailangan nating sagot. Kaya, eto na yung inequality for the first line. Okay, hindi pa tayo tapos kasi dalawa yan, ba? So, let's have the second line. Ito ay, anong point? Negative 1, 0, at yung isa naman ay 1, 0. O, yan naman yung hahanapan natin ng M at ng B. Okay? So, ang M natin ay equals kay Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Pero dahil meron tayo ditong negative 1, 0, at 1, 0. Ito ngayon yung x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2 natin. Okay, having that, i-substitute na sa formula. So, 0. Teka, bakit pareho to? <laughs> ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ito pala ay nagkaduling-duling na. Baliktad. Okay, dapat 0, 1. O, pasensya na at anong oras na naman na. Teka, palitan natin to. Wag malilito ah. Madaling na araw na kasi mga anak. So, we have there 0 and then 1. Okay? Kaya ako nagtataka bakit ganun parehong 0. Okay, now let's uh, substitute. Ang y sub 2 natin ay 1 minus a 0. And then yung isa naman ay 0 minus negative 1. Okay, so you will have 1 minus 0 is 1. And then, 0 minus negative 1. So, negative times negative is positive. Kaya, magiging positive 1 siya. So, 1 divided by 1 is 1. So, ang M natin ay 1. Okay. Ano ngayon? Yung B natin, hanapin natin na ang X natin ay 0. Yung walang halagang X. <laughs> o, dito tayo ha. So, we have here x and then y. So, ang y natin ay 1. So, ang b natin dyan ay 1. So, we will have here 1 and then 1. Pareho silang 1. Kaya, kung isusulat natin, that will be y. Wala muna. Hindi natin muna alam yan. x na lang to, ha? Hindi nyo na kailangan yung sulat na 1x yan. Alam na natin na kapag walang number 1 siya. Plus 1. Now, look at the Line, broken siya, ba? Ibig sabihin, solo lang siya. It's either greater than or less than. Malungkot sila. Wala si equal sign sa kanila. Okay? Now, dahil lang zero natin is not part of the graph again. So, pag nag-test point tayo, ang hinahanap natin ay false ulit. So, at zero, zero, mamili lang muna tayo dito. Uh, siguro, greater than ulit. 
O, check natin ha. Pero, pero, pero pwede nyo naman din pali, pa, ano yun, piliin yung less than ha. Depende sa magiging resulta ng test point yung magiging sagot. So, we have 0 is greater than 0 plus 1. So, 0 is greater than 0 plus 1 is 1. Is 0 greater than 1? Hindi. False. Oh, so, nasakto yung pinili natin. Siya na yung tamang symbol kasi nag-false na siya. So, the inequalities for number 1 are y is greater than or equal to 1 minus x plus 3 and y is greater than x plus 1. O, oh, yan yung sagot for number 1. Now, for number 2, Okay, so ganun ulit yung procedure natin ha. Let's identify the points. Etong line muna na to yung unahin natin. So we have here 0, 3 and we have here negative 2, 0. Okay, so we have to identify our M and our B. So alam naman natin that the formula for M is Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. At ang mga points natin ay negative 2, 0, saka ano yung isa? 0, 3. Okay, teka. We have 0, 3. We're in, ito ang ating x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, our m is now equal to, ano ang y sub 2 natin? 3 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 2. Okay? So, you will have 3 minus 0 is 3. And then, negative sa negative, magiging positive yan. So, we have 3 over 2. Yan ngayon ang ating M. 3 over 2. Now, hanapin natin yung y-intercept. Dapat yun yung x ay 0 na nasa uh, ating y-axis. So, ibig sabihin, ito ang y-intercept nila. So, ito yung y. So, that's 3. 3. So, we have here now... Uh, 3. So, you will have y. Hindi pa natin alam kung anong symbol ang ilalagay dyan. So, 3 over 2 x plus 3. Now, looking at the line, diba? Ito ay broken. So, ang pagpipilian nyo lang ay greater than or less than. Now, looking at the graph, yung shaded region, yung 0 natin is not part of the shaded region. So, dapat pag nag-test point tayo, ang hinahanap nating sagot ay false. Okay? Dahil puro greater than yung pinili ko dito. Now, let's try less than. Pero, pwede din nyo naman piliin ang greater than, ha, mga anak. So, we have here 0, 0. Dapat maging false ang sagot natin. So, 0 is less than 3 over 2 times a 0 plus 3. So, 0 is less than 0 plus 3. So, 0 is less than 0 plus 3 is 3. Is 0 less than 3? Yes, true ang sagot natin dito. So, ibig sabihin, hindi si less than ang hinahanap nating symbol, kundi si greater than. Kaya, ang inequality natin dito ay y is greater than 3 over 2x plus 3. Ito yung magiging sagot natin. Okay, ide-decline natin to kasi nag-true siya. Okay, for the other one naman, so, we have this one, and then same din yung dito. So, we have 0, 1. So, M and then B ulit, where M is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. And then we have negative 2, 0 pa rin, and we have 0, 1. Okay? Which happens to be our X sub 1, Y sub 1, X sub 2, Y sub 2. For our M, we have... Uh, 1 minus 0, and then we have 0 minus negative 2. So, you will have here 1 minus 0 is 1 over 0. Magiging positive, positive to, so 1 over 2. So, ang ating M ay 1 half. Okay, for our B, hanapin lang natin yung, ang X ay 0, tapos kunin natin yung Y niya. So, in this case, eto yun. So, ang Y ay 1. Okay, so we will have here now y, hindi pa natin alam yan, 1 half x plus 1. Okay, dahil broken line ulit, eto, so broken siya. <laughs> it's either greater than or less than ulit yung magiging symbol natin. So, let's have test point natin 0, 0 ha. 
ang hinahanap nating answer ay false kasi hindi siya kasama sa shaded region. Okay? Pumili tayo ng less than. Ngayon, try natin greater than. Ha? What if greater than siya? Tingnan na natin. So, 0 is greater than 1 half times a 0 plus 1. So, 0 is greater than 1 half times 0 is 0 plus 1. So, 0 is greater than 0 plus 1 is 1. Is 0 greater than 1? No. So, tayo dito ay false. Dahil false na to, automatic tama na yun napili natin. Okay? So, eto ngayon yung dalawang inequality or inequalities natin dyan. Now, for this one, napakadali lang nito ha? Kasi vertical and horizontal line lang naman yung meron tayo. Wala na tayong kukuning slope dyan. Kunin lang natin kung saan, kung na nasaan yung line. Okay? For x, eto. Ang titingnan natin dyan, yung horizontal line. So, yung horizontal line ay naka negative 1. Now, identify natin, nasa ang part ba ng negative 1 yung shaded region? Nasa mas mabababa ba kay negative 1 or nasa mas matataas kay negative 1? Dahil nasa left side siya, ibig sabihin, mas mamababa kay negative 1 yung shaded region. Pero dahil ito ay solid line, ibig sabihin, may equal to yung inequality na gagawin mo or kukunin mo. So, we have here, less than, di ba? Less than, kasi we have negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 as part of the shaded region and equal to del solid part siya. Solid part, solid line siya. And then, for our y, okay, ang y natin ay na kay positive 3. Pero, let's look at yung y, yung nasa baba, nasa baba ba, or yung nasa taas, yung shaded region. Mas mataas ba kay 3, or mas mababa kay 3? Obviously, dahil ang shaded region ay na kay 4, na kay 5, mas matataas kay 3 yung ating uh, values. So, Ang gagamitin natin ay greater than. Pero dahil ito ay solid line, dapat may equal to. Okay? So, the equation or the inequality for the third one is x is less than equal to 1. Again, x is less than or equal to negative 1. And then, y is greater than or equal to 3. So, ayan na. Medyo mahaba lang pero kayang-kaya namang matapos. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na ito, dahil natulungan ko kayo, i-comment yan sa ating comment section ha, mga anak ko. Alam nyo naman na ang comments ninyo ay mahalaga para maapang video na ito at makita rin naman siya ng iba. Kaya, please na sana sa lahat ng videos ni Teacher Maria ay mag-iwan kayo ng comments. Ah, sige na, tulong nyo na sa mga videos natin yon. And, syempre, i-share nyo sa mga classmates ninyo para matulungan din natin sila. Baka mamaya hindi nila alam kung ano yung gagawin. And, please naman, pakivisit ang ating Facebook page sa Love Ma TV. Pa-follow naman mga anak ko. Ha, pindutin nyo dun yung follow button. Okay? At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!